bye, how's it going? Calvin and I are on base right now. We just came on base to get the mail. It was something for Travis. We went by and took it to him at work, but there's something new that's going on with base. Right outside of the west gate, there's a new speed bump right outside the gate, and it is so intense, but it has people like crawling over it. Like yesterday we followed a lady off base and she literally pulled up to it and like, Stopped. She hit the speed bump going so slow that it made her roll backwards and she was in like a Dodge Durango or something like a full-size SUV She rolled backwards when she hit this bump. She was going so slow and I was like there is no way <laughs> Like what are you doing? I get it. It's meant to slow you down. It's not meant to make you stop though So yeah, but we just went to the BX because I wanted to get some new perfume because my favorite of all time perfume I've been out of for a while now and Travis got me a very similar one for Christmas last year but it wasn't exactly the same so I was gonna get, I think it was Christmas, maybe it was my birthday. I don't remember, maybe it was my birthday. But I was gonna get a new one and then I did some Google researching and it's not cruelty free. <laughs> oh, it says eight. It wants us going eight. Why? Eight. What? That's like five miles per hour. Y'all, it has people crawling off base. Is, Is it even that bad? I don't know. Bump. Bump. <laughs> and then it's 50. Ugh. What? I hate when they do stuff like that. It's like driving on the Autobahn when it's unrestricted and then it goes down to like 130 and then 80 and then 100 yards later it's back to unrestricted. I'm so over being here. I'm so done. So done with being here. Oh, is it blinding you? I like it being open. It feels good today. It's 66 degrees. Fine, I'm rolling down my window. But we're rushing. Not rushing. He's going to be there and he said let's meet at 430. Um, our landlord's gonna meet us at the house so he can come and take a look at the fridge. That shit stinks. Still. Still. So he said he'd come and take a look at it. He said upon further research that he thinks it might be like the drip pan behind it or under it or something. So I think he's gonna see if he can have a look-see at it. I don't know. I just want it fixed so I can use my fridge. But yeah, anyways. Um, the one I really like, it's Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. Slow down, guy. It's the Nior one. Oh, freaking let this bike cross, you guys. Don't hit him. Oh my God, that made me so nervous. There was a little old man crossing on his bike and I thought someone was gonna hit him with their car. Look, he's right there. Right there. Meow. But it was my all time favorite and it smelled so good. I actually um, didn't learn about it until we were in Washington when I was staying with my sister-in-law's mom, Ange, her roommate, Tana, she like was getting ready one day and she came out of the bathroom and she, like she had just showered and then put on her perfume and did her makeup and everything and she smelled so good and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? I need some. So since then I've been like hooked on it. It smells so good. But they do testing on animals so now I can't use it. So I need to find something that's similar that smells good too. Oh, something yeah. that's exactly the same. Not Maybe not exactly the same, but just something that makes me similarly happy. You know? Yeah. I also need to turn on my blinker, exiting a roundabout. I've been using my blinker the whole time. My hand is on the steering wheel holding my camera and it lets me turn. I got a Frappuccino! Frappuccino in so long and the sun came out and I was like I'm getting a Frappuccino so I got one with oat milk and sugar-free vanilla and it's delicious have I ever told you guys that these dogs are the worst with toys like the absolute worst I don't understand like I get it it's a dog thing but they kill everything like chewed the butt out of this they killed the squeaker in this 
This one still squeaks. And this one still squeaks, but Poncho ripped its face apart. And now we just got this new toy. We literally just brought this home and we've been home for not even half an hour. They ripped out one side and killed the whole thing. How do they do it? I don't understand. They tore it up all over my floor. You guys are jerks. I'm a frog. Okay, let's see it, froggy. I'm a human. I'm a frog. Is that a bee? Where? Right there. Oh, it's a little bumble guy. Hi, little bumbly. He's like, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, what's wrong, buddy? Oh, he got all the pollen off his legs, even. It's, it can't be too cold. He's gyrating his butt around. What's he doing? Oh, he's here. My eyes hurt today, y'all. I feel like I've been rubbing them a lot because of like allergies. My eyes are watering, so like my eyelid is really sore today. But our landlord came by and he looked at the fridge and he said that they're gonna have to come back on Friday with a ladder because they have to take all of this off in order to get behind the fridge to unscrew it and pull it away so that they can get to the drip pan and that they're gonna try to, they're gonna try to clean that out. And then if that doesn't help, what? If that doesn't help, then they will order a new fridge and have that put in next week. The saga continues. Still trying to figure out the freaking fridge. Hopefully it's something as easy as cleaning out that drip pan. Also, my face is starting to try to clear up and I'm hoping all of this goes away. My face has been pretty okay at not like scarring, but these got pretty bad, especially like this. Ugh. <sighs> I've literally changed up like how often I'm washing my face and what I'm putting on my face every day. I don't put the same thing like moisturizer wise on my face every day. I don't know if it's helping. Where? Little doggy. Little baby dog and my good dog. Do you guys want to see something really funny? We just got some McDonald's. I had a big vegan burger. And there's some lettuce left. Oh, he's licking the ketchup off. You're cheating. He was eating lettuce. Here you go. Just because it has ketchup on it. <laughs> you don't want it? Do you want to chew it? There you go. I'll help you. He's a turtle. Yes, he's like a little turtle. He's a tortoise. <laughs> he's eating a tortoise. a tortoise without with the cone. <laughs> You don't want it? He's like, oh, that's terrible. He only likes the end of it. Good boy, my little lettuce eating dog. So the other day, Pancho, when we were on our walk, started limping. And only one of you have asked about it since. Because I thought it was his knee. Turns out it wasn't his knee. And I figured that out after, okay. after we got home. He was licking away at his foot. And over the next couple of days, I realized uh, how red his little paw pad was. So I've kind of tried to keep an eye on it. And I tried to wrap it up with some Neosporin and help it feel better. Why do my lips look crooked? Because they are. Because they are. Because they always are. And he would yelp every time I would try to help him. So I always felt bad. Last night I wrapped his foot up pretty good. He wasn't able to get the bandage off. Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> he wasn't able to get the bandage off last night. So then this morning I took it off and you could tell there was like a little bit of infection and I saw the, like a layer of his paw pad was like peeled back and it was all red and he wouldn't let me like clean it. 
and I felt really bad. So I called the, the vet office this morning and she was like, it was like 9.20 and she was like, can you be here at 10.15? So they got him all fixed up. They shaved all of the hair off of like that part of his pad and then they fixed him up with like some antibiotic ointment. They wrapped it all up and then um, it's supposed to stay on there now until Saturday. Um, we'll have another appointment for him on Saturday, but he has to have the cone on because otherwise he'll try to chew the bandage off. Poor little doggy. But he's limping on it for now. Like he's not touching the ground with it, which is good because if he gets it wet or like chews on it or gets loose, we just have to take it off. And I think it's best if it's protected right now. His little cone's all dirty. Yeah. He's like, Daddy, can I please have a bite? He was eating lettuce. Yeah, is there any lettuce in your box? He was eating it. It was so cute. Hopefully it'll get all healed up and he won't be in any more pain. Just in time for, I also scheduled um, his first knee surgery for next month. Now he's got a little dirty feet. Oh, he keeps scooping gravel. <laughs> now that we got that taken care of, it's a little bit less for me to worry about because I was starting to get a little worried about him. Popping around like how cute he is. Budgie, you're so cute. Hop up. He's like, Daddy, I can't. I only have three legs. All my jumping power is in my back legs. Are your paws dirty? <laughs> Look how cute you are, Poncho. It's like, uh, excuse me, Daddy. Scoot your booty, Judy. Look at that face. Where is he? <laughs> Hang on, we gotta clean you. Now you're dirty. <laughs> there you go. Oh, good yawn. Is it toasty out? You have the cutest little panting face. Daddy, he's so cute. Hi, Nato. So they said to put some plastic on his leg if he's gonna be running around outside because his wrap can't get wet. So, even though he's walking with three legs and running into everything with his cone, he's managing. But Calvin's wanted me to pull out the hammock for the last couple of days because it's been really nice. And I've just had it standing in the corner right there. Well, mice chewed. I think some, some mice or something got to it and shoot a hole in it. And now I'm really sad. I'm gonna have to order a new one. Ugh, that makes me so sad. Okay. Look at it, it's like it's raining. Yeah. Dang it. But Travis is putting my stock uh, wheels back on and it looks so pretty. Get some new shoes! It kind of looked lowered in the front when you had like the back jacked up. Oh, <laughs> Let me see your little club foot. We're gonna lose the club foot. When you walk it goes tick, tick, tick. Are you ready? Are you ready to lose the club foot? So little dog's foot is so much better. We took him to the vet yesterday and it's looking really good. Um, he told me that we can take the bandage off but he has to keep a cone on so that he doesn't chew on it. But if he doesn't chew on it or lick it or anything, and he hasn't licked at it at all. He hasn't chewed at it at all. So we've let him run around coneless because he's a lot more comfortable that way. Um, we're just keeping an eye on him, making sure he's not messing with it at all. But it's doing a lot better. Everyone was were concerned after they saw uh, my story with his, with his little baby cast on, even though it wasn't a cast. It was just wrapped up. But it's doing a lot better. Um, he's still taking some antibiotics just to make sure that that infection goes away all the way. He only has like two more days of it, but um, we just wanna make sure that he's healthy and happy, just like this guy. Um, but thank you guys so much for your concern, for worrying about the puppies. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Point out that it's that, and we'll see you when we see you. Bye.